Hello, welcome back to Let Supreme Ghost Thief. Today we are playing The Builder's Paradise by Fire Mage from the 2020 anniversary contest for Thief 2. This came in second, I think, after Feast of Pilgrims, but before Into the Odd. I think those were the top three. Maybe I got Builder's Paradise and Into the Odd switched there, but I think this got in second. Um, I think I've only played Whistling of the Gears before by Fire Mage. I know he had also a part in Chalice of Souls campaign, but out of his solo missions, I think that's the only one, at least on my channel. So, yeah. Uh, this is a mission that is a mixed bag for me in terms of my experience with it. Um, very hot and cold, because my first playthrough was very frustrating at times, but my ghost run, which was not my first playthrough, uh, my second playthrough, I was very pleased and liked it a lot better. So some of those initial frustration feelings still sits in me when I play this, um, but it's mostly because I, I did something. I completed an objective without really knowing how I did it, and a different objective triggered that I had no clue what was about. So it was a little bit of my own unfortunate doing there. So I'll explain that as we go through. But uh, a very, very unique and architecturally a brilliant mission. I uh, really want to praise it in that category. So we'll see how we do here. Uh, there's a briefing. So we'll get to that. And then we'll talk about the objectives. Victoria's plan had no chance to succeed. It was a one in a million shot, and we missed. I have to find another plan to defeat Karis once and for all. Since the mechanists have deserted their churches and compounds to celebrate their victory, I've been able to gather intelligence without risk. We were wrong. The Builder's Paradise isn't just the world promised by Karis, made of fire and steel but also the name of a city composed of houses, which serve as prototypes for its future dwellings. The chamber where Karis was operating in Soul Forge was apparently linked to the main house of that city. He's gathered the best members of his order. There's no doubt the place will be guarded by numerous security devices and creatures unknown to the world. Getting inside via the main entrance would be a death sentence. But the complex network of infrastructure beneath the city might allow me access through a less guarded spot. Once inside, I'll investigate and hopefully use one of Karis's contraptions against him. I am not the kind of thief who stains his hands with blood. But as some in the profession have said, anyone who talks that much is at their best when silenced. So, uh, this one obviously is an homage to Soulforge Cathedral, or Sabotage at Soul Soulforge. Um, it's almost a sequel to that mission, but with a slight alteration in the story. And from what I understand, you're supposed to um, have the same story as in Soulforge, except that Karis knew what you were up to when you made the Guiding Beacon and he escaped and didn't get killed then by his own creations and has now retreated to this builder's paradise where you then get a second chance to to destroy him essentially so um very much um sort of mission uh, 16 if you will of thief 2 this could be looked at so an expert what do we have to do it's time to get rid of Karis once and for all find your way through the maintenance shafts to get inside the builder's paradise You've learned that this place is full of dangerous machines and controllers, which would be useful to you. Find information about them to stop Karis. Karis is certainly constructing an important amount of machines from his base. Find a way to stop the production. Some notes mention the use of a powerful artifact to control the masked servants. Steal it. You could use it to your advantage later. Once you are done with Karis and all your tasks, leave the place. So this is a very difficult mission, especially on a first playthrough. Um, 
once you know the layout, you can make a couple of choices in where to go that will ease your travel quite a bit. I made a couple of discoveries during my ghost run that really uh, skipped some difficult parts. Not that we're not going to see those parts, but we won't have to deal with them from a ghosting standpoint. And so much so that this mission can actually, believe it or not, it can be ghosted, it can be supreme ghosted, it even can be perfect supreme ghosted. Which sounds crazy to me. After my first playthrough, I didn't think there was any chance of that. I think I even voiced that to a few uh, members of the forum. But we can. So, but that doesn't mean it's going to be easy still. Um, there are going to be a couple of things that I will explain throughout. So I think we're just going to dive straight into it. All right. Make a real... So we do have a map. The map isn't too detailed, actually. This is where we're entering, entrance here. So we start in the basement, which is this section here, and then we are going to go through some maintenance shafts, which is on this side. And we're going to get to an elevator, elevator control that'll take us upstairs. Uh, the elevator is here. Uh, it'll actually take us to the roof, which it says. Uh, and then we're going to have to go back down and come back in a different location. Uh, and then we can get back to the basement through a generator room, a fixing room, and a warehouse. So there is a connection but from the warehouse to the basement, but there's not a connection um, from one part of the warehouse and back into the fixing room unless you come from this end. So you can't enter the Builder's Paradise from this side. <clears throat> you have to go through the roof. And there's also an entrance to the nave here, but that's actually blocked off. Uh, we're going to see that actually not too long after the start. Um, and this is the main Builder's Paradise area. Okay, which which is much, much bigger than what it looks like here. So I think I'll, I'll explain this map when we get to that area. We're going to come down through the engineer's quarters, really. Uh, but this is a main entrance. This is actually a place we can exit. We're not going to, but we can exit there. And then there is this map that shows you just what is on each level. So, um, we start, we actually don't start on any of these levels because we will get to the roof and then come down from the roof to a museum, laboratory, observatory level. Then down to the engineer's quarters and study room. That's when we're gonna, gonna come to this area. Then we'll go down to the workers' quarters, dining room and kitchen, and also a coal chamber. And then the Builder's House is below that door, or actually uh, east of that. So we're going to move towards the east, um, and that'll take us to this area here, which is where Keros is, essentially. That's what we have to do. Let's get to it. The first part of the mission is actually very easy, because there's nothing that can detect us. There's no enemies. This robot here is dead. It's fallen out of the crate there, I guess. Nothing else to look at in here. Let me check. Is my... Yeah, okay. There is fog in some areas. Here's a shaft that is closed right now. Let's head in here. So here's a... a crane? So this is... A crane right here. So we're in this room. I thought the first time I played it that you could operate this crane, and I thought this was a lift, but it isn't. Uh, and you can also see into a room here, this room you can't get to. Now here's a valve, and there are actually five of those that we have to flip for one objective that comes up later on. So we're going to flip it since we're here. So here's an impassable area. Here's a broadhead arrow, and here's the lever that'll open the air shaft that we saw around the corner. 
So you can't actually close this air shaft from uh, the other side. So I actually thought that this possibly would be a bust to Supreme. Because I didn't know that you actually could end the mission back here. I thought you had to go to the main entrance uh, to end it. Because it says exit via the entrance marked on your map. So I thought that that was the main entrance, but you can. So we are going to come back here and then we'll close it at the end of the mission. We can't forget that. Down here is also two flares, if you're looking for that. And up here on the ledge you can see a speed potion. You can take that from down here. Of course, we're not going to need that, but you can. So yeah, we're going to head in here now. Love all the detail. The design is so clever, so immersive. So nothing to worry about here. Some controls. Here's vent number two. So I'm going to save after doing each of those so that I know that I don't have to do it after I reload. So here's actually a secret that we're not going to get because you have to take some items. There's two water arrows, a healing potion, and a fire arrow. Two fire arrows actually in one. If you take the fire arrow, I think you get count <laughs> for the secret. So we're not going to do that. Okay. Here's a locked door that you can open from the other side later on. I'll show you that. If you take the waterway down, you'll fall down all the way to the bottom. There are grinders there that can kill you. And the current is pretty strong. Let's head in here. Now we have iron arrows, and they can of course be used on grates. There's not a lot of wood, or any wood at all. There's some carpet you can attach ropes to, but up here... Silver nugget. And if you head up here, there's three moss arrows. All right, I love the ambient sounds. Come back in here, you get to the top of the waterfall. Okay. So, let me move on a little bit here. Let me just see. So, this is... the door to the elevator, actually. And here we can see. Maybe you heard somebody say, all gone, all gone there, and somebody walking, and then maybe a rope tightening. We'll see what that is all about later. There's all gone. Etched with chalk, it looks like, into the doors here. This is a locked door. I'll flip our third vent here. And we're going to head back. Show you how to get into that locked room there. <laughs> here you go. So you get in here, and in here you've got uh, two moss arrows, two flares, a flash bomb, a healing potion. There's also a vine arrow up top <laughs> there. And I believe in this toolbox, there's only an apple, I think, or something like that. Now, that's how you get the secret count. So I want to get as many counts for the secret as I can. And to lock it, you have to do that. There's no way to close that from the outside. All 
Alright. Now we have to find a way to open the doors to the lift. Which we can do from above, actually. We want to head in here first. And in here, first and foremost, we have our fourth vent. Here's more all gones. Different types of stretching on the font here to make it look different. I like stuff like that. Okay. So it's some kind of janitor's bedroom, this. Here's a fire arrow in the fireplace. There's a moss arrow here. And there's uh, four water arrows in the footlocker. So we're going to meet the janitor in a second. We have to pick the lock on this door. Here is the worker or the janitor down here. Guess he couldn't handle it. The furnace. This isn't an elevator, it just sounds like it. It's just idle sounds. But here we have <sighs> <laughs> way into a different area. <laughs> this way I didn't find until my ghost playthrough, actually. And we're actually now in the Builder's Paradise. We don't get that objective checked off. Because you can't fully walk in there, because this door isn't operational. There's a crushed um, iron beast there. And here we have a watcher. We also have a guy with a mine on him. But then there's a key. An armory key. That key we need. But you can get it from the other side later. But now since I'm here, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. And let's move on. I'm gonna... Move through this way. And now we can get to the other side of the door that I showed you is locked. So that you can open here with this lever. We're not gonna do that. But here's our fifth vent. Or valve. That sound tells you that you have done all five. So that's confirmation. Let's save it there. So this says to the nave. So we are actually here now. So that's the staircase to the nave. So that is the area where the locked door was. You can go through. Sorry, I got a system crash there. I did get that once before also in this area. Last time I played, I just got a like a crash to desktop sure what that is about, but I just got it once before. This is my second time. Hoping that won't be a pattern. So if you go this way, you can actually get to the area above the crane. So there's the speed potion I showed you earlier. Here you have a scouting orb, and you also have a noisemaker arrow in this footlocker. And this is the door that takes you on further, but the lever to open it is on the other side. So that's where you stop. So when I thought that I wasn't going to be able to close the air shaft, I tried to um, look for a way to climb up here after I closed it. But there is no way. At least not that I found. There's no rope attachable or vine arrow attachable areas. So. Let's go back here. So what you heard there, I will, I will 
explain in a little bit. You hear? As soon as we get caught, you hear a locked door that clicks. It's actually a very important thing to keep in mind. And yeah, I'll explain that when I get a little bit further into the mission. Actually, quite a bit further. the armory key, okay. Remember that watchers cannot hear anything. You can use that to your advantage. Okay. So now we're actually above the um, the doors to the elevator. We're going to open those. Okay, so we might actually have to come back later and close these doors. That I forgot about. Yeah. Okay, let me just make a note of that, because that I didn't put in my notes. Okay, because we have to leave these doors open now. I don't think they're going to close. Let us see. We're going to call the elevator down now. There, we're going to take the elevators back up, but I'm not sure if those doors will close. I can't remember that. Now, there's a window there. We're going to turn around and actually look back in that window. Make you close. There. You guys see the cherub? There we go. So these doors are open. You can't close those, I think. So now we're on the roof. And um, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be fog or rust gas or combination. I guess rust gas is technically poisonous, so it can't be that, but I don't know. Residue of metallic powder of some sort. Let's make a real save. So I did see that those double doors down there closed, but the lever, the big operating lever, is probably still in the downward position. So I might need to go back and just reset that lever because that's a pretty big one. That wouldn't be a bust not to do, but... Okay. So... Interesting place, this. Cool, I think. So here's what looks like... A dead... Mechanist. It has melted into rust. Two water arrows and a flare. Um, this is the control box that you're supposed to open those doors. Those are sliding doors, but you can't close those. I guess we could put something to block the doors, but that's very inconvenient. So I'm going to do something else to get up here. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about that. This can be a little bit tricky. Try to we should be able to to jump up here, I hope. At least I was able to do that last time. That way we don't have to worry about that door. OK, 
Okay, this is... Uh... <gasps> there we go. Good. <laughs> you can jump up here. That way you eliminate that door altogether. And you can just leave it as it is. Alright, so we're actually going to head over here now. Vent. Here's a cup. Three coins. And then there is... This is the last secret I found. I got a small hint for this one, but... Um, last one I found. So that opens a... Keeper area. statue, a medallion, and a ring. Total 435. There's nothing else here. Close them up again. <gasps> Still don't have any enemies here. any of this. I think this is a very uh, unique and interesting place. down here, and here's some more loot. Seems like it's another dead... Oh, whoa. The dead soldier. There's a torque, a tiara, and a necklace. Total 1,110. <gasps> we mantle up here, and up here... <laughs> Find a toolbox. It's one of the Easter eggs, and you get 50 uh, gear arrows, I guess it is. So those shoot, and um, it's the most powerful weapon in the game, at least in this mission. So you have 50 of those. Then you can take out pretty much any enemy. Uh, so it's a little, you know, quite broken. So I'm not going to take that, but anyway. Let me make a real set. I'm going to show you guys something. That is pretty cool. But it might take a few tries. I'm going to try to jump down and mantle up there. That was not far enough. That's not far enough either. getting there. That was not... didn't even jump. There's just so many cool things in this mission to show you, so I want to spend a little bit of time. Come on, let's do this. Misses a step here. Can't jump far enough, it seems like, but I will. And that was way too far. <sighs> there we go, finally. <laughs> Might take some damage here too. <coughs> yeah. Oh. Okay. We we made it. 
So over here, there's um, an enemy that Fire Mage made that he didn't get to implement, I think. Or it's supposed to be like a cleaner bot of some sort. Well, he made it, but he didn't get to implement it into the mission. So it's like it's one of those that Karis has implemented to clean up the city or the streets. And it's lethal if you go over to it, you'll die. Like that. Cool. So yeah, I wanted to show you guys that. And something else coming up now. We're going to head down to the, the Builder's Children. There's a window on the left-hand side. Make sure you guys look out there. See if we can catch it. You guys see that? Looked like a spaceship or an airplane or something. And um, from what I heard Firemage say in the podcast, it's one of those little cleaner bots that I don't know if even is used in Thief 2. But is used in this mission. It's one of those unused items or enemies. It's not an enemy. It's like a rat, but it's a robot. Um, but I think he stretched it and made it large, and then it flies through the air. Maybe like one of those air purifying bots. Okay, so now we're going to come down to... The Builder's Paradise. Okay, here is a recording. Let's play that. If thou art listening at this, please take it this as a warning. This house is not right for a hideout. It hosteth some madman. I have been lucky. This belfry just collapsed as his followers came after me. But I fear the most dangerous one not survived this yet. In case thou still seeketh entry, take heed. Heareth thou the sound of some low engine? Run away without further thought. <coughs> I have no idea where I shall go, but I shall certainly leave the sewer. The quicksand is flooding them slowly. And most of mine friends met not but killing machines down there. The choice be yours, friend. May the builder guide thy path. All right. <clears throat> Sounds ominous. Well, let's head down here. Here, I'm just gonna go down and show you a few things first. This is a blocked path. This is actually a place you can come out from a storage room. So some kind of, you know, mechanist art. Listen to that. I love that theme. That is just uh, yeah, so unique and so cool. And look at this. This this is just right out of a, a madman's. House. It's almost like uh, Karis's version of Constantine. This place, uh, more more well built than Soulforge Cathedral, I, think. I must say. Very much in in love with the architecture here. And we're gonna head up here instead for one main reason, two main reasons. This 
is almost like a, you know, a metallic tree, which is kind of cool. And <laughs> it has an apple, a golden apple from it. Let's see. up here? I thought we could. <laughs> uh, we need to, so... <sighs> We're gonna take damage, aren't we, if we draw? Pretty sure we will. Dead mechanists. It's a readable. I did what they asked to stay alive, but I now realize that I was on the wrong side from the start. He will kill us all because of me. I changed them all to please Karis, and now I'm alone. I'm the next on the list. The robots are parroting most of the damage done to the factory during the fight, and soon, no one will ever know that anybody just died in here. Not even the Belfry, which just fell yesterday. I could leave, as some workers did, but I don't feel the right to live anymore. I have destroyed the last chances of humanity, and because of me, all hope is gone. The only way to stop this monster could be some acid in important quantity, which might require too much water and acid waste canister for a simple worker like me. May the Master Builder forgive me. Okay. So up here you have some food, a moss arrow. No, this is a vine arrow and a water arrow. No loot, though. Wish there was a purse or something, maybe. We're gonna climb here, so then we come back down to the room that we saw. Kind of weird spider decoration. I guess Karas has a pretty good precursor connection, so... Rotating statues. So this is a museum, actually. This is the doors back out. Okay, lots of loot in here. Okay, so this is... Um, a way for them to send internal messages or parchment where this green light will light up if there's a message waiting you can click on this button and the dispenser comes out with a message so it's almost like if you guys have seen those tubes that they use in drive through banking for example you can send checks through tubes I used to work in a bank so I 
I guess I know those. Here's a gear. There's a lot of loot here. Okay, we'll see if we can get it all. Diamond, crystal, and a ring. Gold nugget, silver nugget. Let's see, here's a fire arrow. There's also a couple of broadheads, I think. Four broadheads. Rug, three masks, two blue gems, three artifacts, 22, 25, that's what we should have. Here's a lock that we are going to need to unlock later on. There's an object, a mask in there that isn't loot, but it's something else. Now, there's a couple of plaques I'm going to read. I don't think there's any plaques on this side, but there is here. Six Laws excerpts found in the Antique Library. Antique Library. These parchments date from ten years before the end of the pre Precursor's era. These are copies of strict laws applied before the end of time, providing a real record of the last moment of a civilization, and more information about Precursor society, such as cultivating and hun cultivation and hunting. Ta tapestries from the Imperial Palace. Three very fragile tapestries found in the Imperial Pal Palace of Carath Din. These show the three different stories about different legendary sons of the sky, the, the antique leaders. The oldest one is made of bug beast shell and gold, the two others of goat skin and papyrus, further evidence about the decline of the precursor civilization. Water temple artifacts, jewels, jars, masks, and a statue, which were used for several rituals during the pre preglyphic period under the Tolk Meth dynasty. Scriptures tend to describe these as some sort of play about creatures coming from the sea, kidnapping people, or making human sacrifices. The quality of the materials proves a complete devotion to the cult of water. Fire temple artifacts. Old jars which used to contain ancient naphtha, a very flammable substance. The naphtha contained in those jars has been removed and transferred to steel barrels marked with a flame. Most of these barrels are contained in the laboratory for experiment, but a smaller container has been sent to the armory in case of attack. We're going to need that as well. Antique automatons. Two automatons found deep inside the arena of Kareth Din. These are currently the only ones found in one piece. These were apparently used for entertainment to recreate mythological stories without risking any human cost. Some rare scriptures also mention they have been used to defend several temples wealthy mansions, and the Imperial Palace. Once, they were sent against the revolt during the ultimate Great Starvation. open, the other doors open, so we could leave them open. So we're going to go into a room now that closes. It's like a contamination area. Opens again. Oh. We don't want that.
friends, the security chamber is currently out of order. Wait within until the doors open as usual. The system is simply out of purified water. Hygiene being the most important point. Friend Rosari will see if our fellows from the Silver Icons treatment at the top floor of the library have any surplus purified water crystals to refill the device. Meanwhile, make sure you are clean and shaved before entering to prevent any issues while working on the alchemic projects. We don't want to pick up that scroll, but... So here's the storage room, the west storage room. We're not going to head in there now, and I will explain why in a little bit. There is a mechanist up here, right behind the walkway, so I'm going to walk a little slowly. Here's a code, one, two, three, four, it says. And you can see that the right one is up. Number two is down. Number three looks like it's also pointing down. And number one is not pointing down, so probably up then. So up, down, down, up. Okay. Here's a papyrus. Friend Rosari, the Mask of the Night is as thou knowst a cursed artifact, hosting some spirit from the ancient time. If we wish to better understand our ancestors, it must be studied. For now, it stands inside its safe in the museum. So that's the key that I said we had to find or open the lock. But friend Tonar kept the key while taking some art to the break room above the council chamber. So we're going to have to head to the break room to get that key. When thou wilt be there to fetch the pure water crystal, couldst thou bring the key back? Praise Karas and the builder, friend Ogort. And here's another one. Friend Colonel, the power canister is finally finished. Now we can collect extra energy in some cells to reuse it later, or apply it on moving machines requiring a lot of power. I have sent it to the generator room to fill it for now. Dost thou have any idea when and how we could gather our team with Karis to show my invention? Friend Thalaris. Interesting. So we'll skip that papyrus. Is a an iron beast that walks through here. For now let's listen to this recording. is sort of the mechanist that defends Karis more than anybody else. This is a secret area here. So here's a um, gas arrow. Isn't that a gas arrow? Sure it is. No, it's a vine arrow. The other vine arrow looked different. Maybe the other one was a moss arrow, then I'm not sure. Here is a corrosive water tank. If you use that, you turn your um, your water arrows into corrosive water arrow, which would basically kill any kind of um, mechanical device. Fire arrow, flare, invisibility potion. Don't need that. Another fire arrow and a purse. 325. Okay, I got spotted. So it's a little bit unfortunate right now because we do need that 
Iron Beast to go our direction. So we have to wait for it to make its rounds and then come back here. I can explain something in the meantime. this, I think is this line right here you see in the floor, we will actually trigger Colonel. And he was the one in the audio message. Colonel is a zombified mechanist uh, robot that cannot be killed except if you use the special gears. And the problem is that he always knows where you are. He will walk straight over to you no matter if you're in pitch black darkness and he will always see you, sort of. He will walk over to you and just stand next to you and just look at you. But then if you walk over to him, he'll find you, or if he sees you, he'll come chasing and, and kill you. He will occasionally teleport around the map, but there are certain predictable areas where he um, will come. And if you cross this line here, he will spawn back, you know, I think a little bit behind the museum, and he'll come... Oh, no, no, here he is. That is not good. So then maybe I did walk past the line. I'm going to make sure that I don't do that. I want to make sure that I haven't triggered him now. Maybe it's just on top of that light fixture. I do have a real save so I can go back and, and redo this. I want to trick him a little bit so that he doesn't follow us because he could follow us around the entire map, to be honest with you. Don't think we triggered him now. Might be past the two. <laughs> past the two bookshelves, then. We're gonna wait here for him, for the Iron Beast to come back. So, yeah, there's, there's three different places I have found where he triggers. And one is if you pass probably the bloodstains here. Something like that. I'm going to try to go here. I'm going to show you guys something else first. So now we definitely trigger it. And here's the speed potion. It's also a readable slow fall potion. And then vibrating organs in a sink. However creepy that is.
Let's read this. Organic strips, 36 meters. Leather, 10 kilos. Black powder, 25 kilos. Masks, crossbows, maces, machine parts, naphtha canisters, acid canisters, mails, and gold. Notes. We might have enough resources to fulfill the project. Only one shall become a throne, though. Colonel might decide. Praise Karis and the Builder. This is the lab. And here we have two water arrows. And then we're going to head in there. Okay. So I want him to come a little bit further. Because we want to go and get a um, an objective now. But I want to be able to return from that objective without bumping into Colonel. So I want to have as much time as possible here. Not sure how long it takes from the time I was triggering him until he can bump into us, but only a couple of minutes. I'm going to make another real save on top here, and then we'll see. Oh, uh, why is he... I really can't stand why he's, he's probably locked. The patrol is sort of turned off right now. Well, wait. He came when he was. I was over here earlier last time, but let's wait a little bit. So it's things like this. If you experiment a little bit and know where enemies trigger, then you can manipulate it a little bit. We might not be able to do this any better than wait for him. base here. This is a telescope. Two blue vases here. There's also a couple of water arrows. Three, I think, in the pool. Yeah, there he is. So I don't know if we're going to make this now. We'll see. code up, down, down, up, so we're going to have to flip three and two, get the eye, is supposed to come through that door now. We just did it. Good. Okay, so let me just... Yeah, there he is. Good. We made it. Okay, I'm going to just show you guys what's up here because I didn't explain anything. Here's a readable, at least. Communications room. The device works by using a powerful artifact found by Keras, which is the eye then. 
is able to send uh, thought and voices to distant machines and beacons to control the servants. During maintenance, the seal must be opened and the artifact removed. The code to open the seal is based on the lever's position. For example, 4 down means the lever number 4 should be at the down position. The code is written on the board in the laboratory, past the security chamber. So that we read, but some of it was bloodstained. This guy does turn to the to the south, so he can see us if we walk fast here. He didn't, though. So that's good. So here we took um, the eye, and we got a new objective. We checked off Steal the Secret Artifact, but we got an optional one, which of course for Supreme is required. So the artifact was the eye. Perhaps a ritual to restore the world at a later date is possible. If you find sources of elemental power in the compound, the elements are birth, vine, water, fire, storm, stone, and night. So we have to find these seven elemental powers in order to fulfill this optional objective. So those seven items we're going to have to take for Supreme. We can do that, though, Supreme Clean, luckily. And now we have also been able to avoid Colonel's... Uh, the problem with Colonel. Let me show you what is up with him. So he's going to come through the door here. So he moves like a zombie. Um, but... Yeah, sometimes he does this too. So I'm not sure why he goes up there. not sure what that's all about. He goes to certain areas you've been to. Um, that doesn't mean he heard me earlier. That could maybe mean that he did hear me earlier. didn't do that last time. He's supposed to go straight for you. Mm. Try to do this again here. I didn't like that behavior because he, had, he did a hunt maneuver. Which is not what I've seen in the past. Any deviation from the norm. It's just not good. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this again. Skip past it if you'd like, but... Since we can perfect Supreme Ghost the mission, I don't want him to... Okay, yeah. 
But now we have much better ones. <laughs> Drop down on the light fixture. Oh. Then we can do it before Colonel comes. Oh. Let's see, that's just enough time here. still walks up there, so I think that's probably more an automatic event. <sighs> yeah. Let's see if we can do something. This is what he's doing here. It's so annoying to be able to maneuver here properly. Now he's not showing any signs of like hunt maneuvers at least. I don't really know. This guy's impossible to interpret properly. So now we're in the storage room. I'm gonna do something else here quickly. <sighs> if we head over here. And then if we go over to this storage room. You can get a foothold. go into this storage room, we actually will trigger him again. So now he will teleport. And he is going to come out of this door again, go through the museum. He'll teleport back where he originally teleported. I think there's a trigger in this storage room, and also when we walked over the threshold that I talked about earlier. Uh, let's see. So in here we need to go because there are two stacks of gold coins. 2675. It's also another corrosive water canister. And here you can take a ladder down to the dining room, which we're not going to do. <laughs> I think I've triggered Colonel again now. So 
he's going to have to start that whole trek over again, which is nice for us because we don't have to deal with him then. <laughs> okay. That is the last time we have to deal with Colonel, actually. That's just good. Okay, and here's a deer leg and a moss arrow. There's also uh, there's, there's metal here. I'm not going to risk anything. Here's a breath potion. Too for us, I think so. Okay, I gotta reload. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's probably in this box. Yeah, blue gem and a crystal. 2715. That is all on this floor. So we have basically now cleaned the museum, laboratory, and observatory area. Um, we're done with this. We haven't seen the fixing room and the generator room yet. So we're now going to... We've seen the dining room from above. I just showed you that. We're now going to head down to the engineer quarters level. There's a ladder. We're going to go up there later. I can do that now. There's another enemy that we haven't seen yet that we're going to see on this floor. You can hear him. There. Kind of a cyborg. And he patrols a little bit around here, but then he actually eventually gets stationed down in the workers' quarters. I'm not sure if he's supposed to continue to patrol. That. He gives a, like clicks when he detects you. It's a camera. It's actually very easy to go around. Engineers quarters. Here's two notices we're going to read. Important. Some reports show several friends neither take nor answer the messages sent via pneumatic tubes. These need to be kept empty of any object, unread messages included, to prevent any damage or accidents. When the green li light is lit, it means a message is waiting to be released. Thou shalt press the button and take the message. Any friend seen ignoring a message shall be severely punished. May it be understood by all. Friend Arena. Important message from Karis. The rust gas at Soul Forge was released yesterday. To celebrate our victory, Karis hath organized the ceremony in the name of the Builder's Advent. Since the Builder's Paradise will require the latest and most advanced automata, engineers and workers are allowed to come late to the ceremony in order to finish all of their projects. Another ceremony could eventually be organized should these friends arrive too late. Praise Karis and the Builder, Friend Colonel. Okay. So this takes us to the other side of the blocked off staircase. Here's a mechanist that met an unfortunate demise. And a gold candlestick, 2765. Head into the library. Okay, good. I was wondering if it was stuck. And here is a speed potion. And also a healing potion. Where 
we're pretty well on our way here. There's a broadhead arrow in that footlocker. And then in the bedroom, there's a healing potion and a flare. Empty bathtub. Guy that's under the table here. Yeah, that robot has a hard time getting through that door. There. Fire arrow here and the crossbow. This guy has his hand severed. And here there's a well-hidden ring under the fallen... ...fallen door. And in here, there's nothing of interest. Here's you know, part of a body, is it? I'm wondering maybe if this was something that was supposed to be moving and actually active. But the fire mage just didn't get implemented. I'm not sure. I think I remember him talking about that. If he watches, maybe he can chime in. I'm not sure. In this room, there's a healing potion, I think, in this footlocker. There's a scroll here. We have released the prototype of the bronze angels as you required. It has not the entire armature and is quite vulnerable. Two hard blows on the back of the head and the moving system goes in maintenance mode. It is active, but stationary. Their hands are working, but still not as accurate as ours. Karis's newer system seems otherwise to open new ways of making hands. The new generation might be more effective, with their new armature and advanced artificial voice. Final prototype will be made soon, more resistant to heat and corrosion. The gas is nevertheless an issue we still can't fix. It's still slipping into the core and dousing the heat chamber. Alright, and in the bedroom there is a gold candlestick and a guy. Nothing in the ba bathroom. Odd that he didn't alert to that. He has a hard time now. Normally, a save reload will. He goes into the main office here. Study room. I think we're safe here. We're going to have to go in there and get some loot and um, a key that we're going to return. Visual. Yeah. See, when he spins around like that, he'll see us. Let's try to go to this side. Okay, here's a dead guy. A rug, some desks, there's nothing really interesting on it. I was hoping there would be a readable in here. I remember explaining this room. Anyway, here's a control room key. Which we definitely are going to need.
This is a locked door that actually takes you to the factory. Now we can head back. I believe that cyborg robot, I'll call them cyborgs, come all the way over here, but now I think he's probably gone down to the workroom, because he ends up getting stationed there. I'm not sure if he's supposed to keep patrolling. <laughs> Up here is a coin. Single coin. I got that from the other side when I played it the first time. But it's a secret. It's only worth one. 3,066. So if you're missing only one to complete all the loot, I guarantee you this is it, because there's nothing else worth one. Okay. This here takes us to the dining room. We're not going to go in there now. We could, but we're not, we don't have a key. We're going to take that plate. 3116, and then we're going to make a real save. This we have to pick open. So now we are actually coming down the stairs. We could have gone into the dining room. We're going to head into the nave. This is the only entrance to the nave for us uh, now. So we have to pick the lock on this door. Rolling. There's a watcher here. If we head over here, he cannot see us. The watcher can, will not alert us here. This is then the main chapel area. head over here actually and wait for him to pass I guess up here is a gear a pulpit and then there's a readable here self reminders for the builders paradise's ceremony preparations waters thyself correctly warms up thy voice Checks the acoustic device thrice. Do not forget to salute the audience. Excuse the eventual late engineers and workers. Read thy notes again about the Hamrite scriptures. Battle of the First Smith's Psalm. Emphasize the word terror. Say a hammer instead of his hammer. Smelter's Chorus. Close thy eyes. Do not sing in. Excerpts from the Forge. Replace words hammer with cog. Replace words the faithful with charis. Fortress chant, sing first in the cannon, say pound on instead of hammer on, reach the high notes at the order, 5th verse, 40th line, catch thy breath at brick, 9th verse, 77th line. <laughs> new scriptures by Karis, at the end of the new excerpt, tell the three last verse, then place thy hand on the holy book, do as Karis telleth thee, once thou sayest, may the master builder blessed his prayers, Press the button Karis hath set last month to release holy water on the audience. Okay. Okay, we're gonna head up here. Grab a purse. Okay, I'm going to check something right now. This is then to the warehouse where we were on the other side earlier. So now we've come full circle. So we basically were here. So this is the entrance then that could have taken us up to the nave uh, staircase. But yeah, I'm gonna check something. 
This is to the factory assembling section. Not sure if I can see it. I think we're good. I'll explain what I was looking for later on, and I'm also going to explain a couple of the things. I just want to make a real save here. Call safe, because I know that this is what I need. Um, but yeah, I'll explain everything what I just did later on. We're going to head down to sort of a factory area get a piece of loot that's a little bit difficult to get unless you come down from here. <coughs> okay, we can drop here without taking damage, and we have to close this. Because if you... If you raise this, I don't know if you can lower it again. I'm not 100% sure, but... these glasses and then I'm gonna head up here we're gonna see the other area other well actually this is a manufacturing area for these robots And there's a cyborg back there that supervises this whole area. So yeah, I will show you that from the other side. Just wanted to get those glasses. Worth 50, so we should have 3,366. Good. So now we're in the ventilation shaft. It's the other end here. So we could have gone in here, but then you have to go down and up again to get those glasses. I just wanted to be able to head up. So now we're going to head north. Which basically will take us into the barracks uh, through the vent. You can, of course, go into the barracks directly from the nave. But... We'll go this way just to show you all the possible routes you can take. So now, in the barracks region, there's hardly anybody. And we're going to actually emerge now. In the armory, believe it or not. There's another cyborg right here. And here are, I believe, six broadhead arrows. <laughs> so we don't want to use the elevator. But here's the armory. And we got the armory key from the dead guy, remember? Now, in here, there's a lot. Uh, we're only going to need two things. The naphtha barrel. That is the fire element. And we are going to need this explosive charge. We're not going to use that. Like, we're not going to blow it up. We are going to... Well, we're going to use it, but not in the traditional sense. Um, in here, moreover... You have three mines, a flash mine, four flares, a gas arrow, three gas mines, and five fire arrows. Uh, we're, of course, not going to need any of that. But we need those other two things. Let's head through here. This is 
a shooting range. And here's a f uh, healing potion. So it's actually a device to give you broadheads. One new broadhead pops out if you flip the lever, and that's of course to shoot. You can go through here and go over to the side of the targets. Down here to the right, you can probably see it in the carpet, is a key. It's called the Lost Key. We're not going to need that. There's a readable later on that refers to it, and I will show you where that Lost Key works. Hmm. To the right there is into the armory where that cyborg is. Up here are some... Bedrooms. Uh, here's a goblet. Up here's a cucumber. I don't think you can. I don't think there is anything else in this. I don't think you can read that. That's not valuable. And I think there's more loot in the, in the other one. Yeah. There's a hammer here. There's a healing potion down there. Took a bottle of wine, 3506. So we're going to have to wait for him to turn around, and then we can head out. Just going to cross us here. So much of this mission is empty if you do things in the right order. Now, let me look at the time here. Okay. Uh, there are, when you play for a certain amount of time, there are certain enemies that trigger, I believe, or maybe it is from certain things you're doing, but... There are at least two enemies that I know will spawn. Possibly more. What time is it? Midnight. Okay. This we read. This we read it also. Okay, all that's in here are three loaves. No letters for us to read. Alright. Now we are coming up on a very, very important area. And I will explain. So we're now going to head into the factory. And this is where the difficult uh, fun starts. Um... Now, once I realize something that is about to be evident, the whole mission uh, in terms of ghosting changed for me because I saw that it was possible to actually ghost and even supreme it. And the main thing is the first time I entered this room here, Karis, which you can see way up there, started giving a monologue. We're going to hear that monologue later, but he doesn't give that right now because he doesn't know that we're here. He doesn't know we're here because we haven't been seen or detected by anything. This is actually proof that we've not been caught by anything. 
I think it mostly refers to watchers. If a watcher catches you, and remember I, um, I said pay attention to the locking sound that you heard when the first watcher caught us. Um, when the first watcher or enemy sees you, there's a bunch of doors that close and locks automatically. If you make it to here without getting spotted, then those doors will be open and you have the possibility to skip an area or into an area that is going to be crucial for a ghost to be able to skip into. I assume that is intended by Fire Mage, otherwise he wouldn't make it like this. But it's... Um, in that case, it's deliberately helping those that ghost. Because you open up avenues that you wouldn't otherwise have accessible. Which is an ingenious thing to do, and I thank Fire Mage for doing that. Because it really rewards those that are ghosting. Primarily, I'm talking about double doors that are up here on the second floor that can take us into, um, let's see, yeah, it's not shown here, but it takes us into the second floor um, and some rooms here in the north that would not be available. It's not these, but it's on the upper level. Then you can see the walkway up there. You can get up to that walkway you know, without those doors being opened, you can't get into the rooms beyond without going up and actually seeing Karis. So that's a crucial part of the mission that we're going to use right now. So what I want to do is I want to get into those doors and get to a control or security room as quickly as possible. See there? Did you hear that locking sound? So that actually wasn't a watcher that caught us, it was a cyborg below that hurt us. These doors right here. Dodge this watcher. You want to get into this. Karis's quarters, authorized friends only. This is a room that you can never get into unless you do exactly this. Northern emergency exit, which is this room. Um, the closest lever operates this door. Let's see. So we want to open those, the, the southern emergency exit, but we probably... Yeah. And we will open that. Those are the two that are key for us. Because if we can open those two, we'll open these doors here. This one and that one. But on the southern side. There's another set of doors like this on the south. And that will actually make us gain entrance to Keras uh, the back way. Without actually taking a huge elevator that triggers the release of tons of enemies. So if we can get into Karis' quarters without triggering those enemies, we're going to skip, you know, a whole section of the mission that is going to be um, able for us then to ghost. So I also now, I don't want to pull this lever because that opens this door and that's broken. This lever won't work. Let's see, I think actually I want to do something else here. <sighs> So those doors closing automatically was not because we were seeing. There's a timer, I believe.
that starts at a certain point. And you can't avoid those doors closing eventually. I think it's a timer from the time we start, we enter. It should trigger soon. We're gonna go up here to the break room. I just wanna stay here until those close. There we go. So there isn't much time. I think it's like 30, 40 seconds from the time you enter the factory until those doors close automatically. We didn't get spot, spotted here now. So that's what would have happened if we had gotten seen by a watcher. There's a door that opened there. I'm not sure what that was. That sounded very odd. Is that thou, Gert? So now there was a monologue, that monologue that originally was... Let's see. I didn't know what that door opening was supposed to be about, so... door that opened and closed above me. I don't like when that happens because there shouldn't be anybody up there. Okay. I think we're good now. Yeah, hear that? That should be from right upstairs. Well, let's go up there and see. This is the break room. We're gonna head up there and get something now. I'm gonna skip this whole area right now. I'm gonna go to security room. We're gonna get is this monologue now. now. Get. I am surprised to see thee again, despite being unable to say if I'm pleased. Oh. Okay, I'm going to explain something else too now, because there's. I want us to hear that monologue. So... When we head up into the break room, Karis will start a monologue. And at the end of that monologue, there's going to be big doors in the main foyer that's going to open. And there is a small um, worker robot, one of those small robots that are normally blind when they walk around and you can destroy them with one water arrow to the boiler. Um, and that robot is very unique because if you are not close to it, when those doors open, it won't move at all. And it'll end up blocking our path later on. Um, if we are near it, though, it'll actually end up doing a walk that it's supposed to do. It's very strange and difficult to explain, but um, when it comes out of those doors, it'll stop its patrol in a certain location, and strangely enough, it will end up facing the direction that we are in. Not because it sees us, but it will just end up turning towards us. So that means we can manipulate what direction it's gonna face, which is gonna be crucial for us. So you'll see what I mean. I'm gonna go down there in a little bit. I just don't know if I'm timing this correctly based on the patrollers that are down there. But let's listen to his monologue and then see. I'm also gonna take a key yet? here. I am surprised to see thee again, despite being unable to say if I'm pleased or annoyed by it. 
I must admit our last meeting has disappointed me. What a shame to see the thief said to be the smartest and most skilled coming on to lie with such a single weak and pathetic plan and fleeing on failure. From the one who vanquished the trickster, I was expecting much better. Now thou shalt excuse me, but I have several projects to achieve. And thou wilt be blessed to see the fulfillment. Those doors see thy down there. Self. Are you gonna see a little robot come out? See it? We wanna be over here now. Main reason for that? is because now the robot is going to be facing this direction. Let's see if it is. Yep. See that? First time I played, I was nowhere near this area when those doors opened, and the robot ended up stationing himself, or just staying in the middle of that hallway, facing west, or towards me here. Which meant that there was no way for me to get through that hallway, and we have to leave through the hallway. But now, it went out into the main foyer where it's supposed to go, and it's now facing northwest. Which means we can just sneak out and go along the southern area, the southern wall. <clears throat> so once I found that, I was pretty certain that now we could Supreme Ghost the mission. So I'm gonna make a real save here. And now we are perfectly on our way here. Let me just check a few things. <clears throat> yeah. We should be good here. Um, here you have three water arrows and a whole uh, healing potion. A little office. Let's see. There is a mechanist and then a spider bot with a light on it, which I've never seen before, patrolling this walkway back and forth. And if you finish this walkway all the way over, you get to the southern emergency door openings. I'm just going to go over there and make sure that I open those. Yep. There they are. Awesome. This is going to plan. So, I wanted to get up and get the factory key. Because that unlocks these doors. We're going to drop that back. Here's a goblet. Here's a bottle. And now... Oh, I got caught like that last time too, I remember. Now we're right above where we got the armory key, which means that we can actually drop that key back. Wait. I haven't taken any loaves, right? That's weird. Do we start with loaves of red? We do. I didn't actually know that. We're going to drop back the armory key now. There. Nobody hears that. I'm just going to... For the heck of it. Check that we actually started with loaves of bread. We do. Five loaves of bread. All right. I think I ever noticed that. There. So here we have a dispenser. 
that not only shuts the light off, which you're not supposed to do, but it gives us a papyrus. Let's read it. Friend o Amis, or Amos, they broke into the security room. They caught them all. Arena has maybe escaped, but it's no longer important. Nika sacrificed himself to help us flee. We have taken as much food as we can. We will try our chance in the sewers. Join us if thou canst, but never mind the resistance. We lost this over. Just bring the armory key with thee. I don't want these explosives being reachable by Karis or Colonel's men. May the builder guide thee. Friend Clark. Okay. So we're not gonna want to read that. But there it is. And now we can start looting these areas here. This is a switch that will turn off some of the lights, which we do not need. Take this. Artifact statue worth 75, 36, 46. Okay, I'm actually going to... Uh, and this, I think, is a healing potion, I believe. I'm going to lock block this door. We're going to need to go in there much later. But we're going to need to drop back the factory key before we go there. So I'm just going to want to do that while I can do it. I'm going to go back up to the break room here. I just needed the factory key to get down and sort of manipulate that robot. Here's a gold goblet, 3676, and there is a bottle of wine behind the counter, 3721. And this we're gonna have to pick because there's two more bottles of wine and a loaf of bread in here. Nothing else of interest. This can't be relocked, this door. Now let's head into the security room a second time, and I can explain a little bit more. So this is then the security room that was explained in the readable below. And this is above the manufacturing area of those bots that we saw earlier. We took a factory key from the... from the... Um, chair here, which we're going to have to return later on. And this is a ledger. Arena's ledger. We're not going to actually take that and read that. But I'm going to read it now because I want to show what happens. Friends, these words will certainly be my last. Almost two weeks have passed and we have lost almost all our men. Karas must be stopped at all costs. His madness took over. He hath killed our brethren in the most cowardly ways and is now using our own machines against us. We have gathered everything we could, but was not enough. Some traitors have decided to still follow him and keep fighting. Might thou be more fit for such a mission as this? The Builder's children could be our best hope, since Karis is surrounded by those in number. Their ability to detect intruders is based on two memory crystals that contain all the information to detect friends and enemies of the Order. Unfortunately, Karos' own crystal hath some priority over ours. Find thou a way into his quarters, and look for a golden valve on a green glowing pipe. Thou shalt turn it off to split the network. His crystal will be bypassed. A blank crystal may be acquired from the factory extraction section. Use this to replace the one already in the memory core with in the control room. Then reset their memory from the gear-shaped console in the adjacent room. This will rid us of Karis and his madness. We tried to use force and lost many friends during the raid. Don't repeat our mistake. The portrait doors to Karis's quarters are made with an imper impervious metal, but Karis shall open them to release his latest creations. The other thing that prevents us from fulfilling our goal is the control room door. The key is located inside the study room past our quarters. Our friends didn't return from their expedition to retrieve it. Unfortunately, we couldn't progress this plan further. Karis knows where we are, and our previous raid was another failure. We are struggling more and more to keep the copper servants away, and those traitors who remain loyal to Karis. Additionally, several workers have fled, thinking they would have a better chance of survival now that the reaction has stopped. D don't they know Karis shall make machines to stalk them in the, de in the desert? 
Friend Morrill went to the library to find a way to stop the production of the factory. He hasn't returned. Hopefully we shall make a discovery. Hast thou no limit, or canst thou help thyself? This gold was not yours, nor useful to thine cause. And now thou hast sacked half of this holy place. If thy goal is a wealthy demise, may it be. Okay. So this, reading this ledger, um, triggers a new objective. I think it actually checks off this objective first. Find a way to stop Keras. The security machines are the key. And... It gives you a new objective. Follow the steps of Arena's plan to ensure that Karis is defeated. Now, the problem when I played this mission the first time is that I never found the security room and this ledger uh, until after I had completed this objective already. And when I did that, I checked off this objective by accident almost. And then I suddenly had this objective pop up and check off automatically. Both of these will check off if you just do the first one without ever having read that ledger. I just flipped all the valves and picked up everything and tried to do everything I could and I accidentally, after a lot of trial and error, managed to do this without ever having visited the security room. Um, so when I saw this arena's plan I was so confused and I got so frustrated that I didn't know what was happening. I thought I, I thought I had broken the mission, so I actually opened a walkthrough to see what I was supposed to have done and realized that I had done everything I was supposed to have done. But I realized in the walkthrough that I had missed this room. Uh, but I hadn't even looked for this room. I wasn't done playing the mission. So I didn't use the walkthrough to find anything new. I just realized that I had bypassed something that I wasn't supposed to. Um, so I didn't use it for any spoilers or anything. But I was, I was so done with the mission at this point. But then when I realized what I had done, I guess that redeemed it a little bit. Now when we read this ledger, Colonel will actually spawn again. He will spawn in the restaurant, which is straight to the front here. And he should be able, he should come through this door now any second. I guess we can also read this. Colonel's message, that's right. Dear Arena. Thou hast laughed at me for too long. Thou darest to call me a traitor, thou heretic? Thou art losing men and time, and thou thinkest we cannot reach thee. Soon thou wilt see how wrong thou hast been, not to fulfill thy duty toward Karis and the Builder. Prepare to feel the Builder's anger, friend Colonel. I believe at least he will come through that door. Uh, there's ten broadhead arrows in this. So I'm not sure, maybe he comes when you read this message, I'm not sure. Anyway, here is the device, security panel. Control room instructions. The arrows select one by one each mechanical eye from the House of the Builder's Paradise in sequence. The lights will help you to watch their status and determine the states and details about any eye. The screen in the center of the control panel will display all the images in the, the eye C to make your watch perfect in case of anomaly. The three colored lights on the right will help you in your analysis. Green, the eye detects something suspicious. Yellow, detecting a visual anomaly. Red, intruder spotted. See the alarms protocol in case of red indicator. If some eyes could not move or be detected, this indicates eye failure or material damages. In this case, check the lights on the left. Blue, the eye is turned off by our internal system. The lever on the left of the control panel turns it on or off. If the eye remains deactivated, see the broken eyes protocol. Red, no eyes detected. In this case, send a worker with an escort to check the eye system and launch the preventative alert protocol until a diagnostic is received via pneumatic tubes. The number on the odometer is display the serial number of the eye. This number is important so that the children of Keras may be informed of an alarm's exact location. 
Warning, Keras possesses a similar device and can decide at will if a machine should be turned on or off. Mechanical eyes included with a higher priority. An instruction sent by Keras needs five minutes to proceed and fix a contradiction. It is then important to keep yourself informed of orders and information to prevent any accident which could occur during such delay. See the awareness book about mechanist security. So here you can actually uh, this is um, the control room. You can see through the various watchers. This is also outside the control room. This is back at the museum. This is actually outside the engineer's quarters through those double doors that we were, that was locked. That's the monster that we just dodged a couple of times. So the Colonel hasn't shown up here. There he is. See? So we're definitely not gonna read that book. If that triggers Colonel and we can't get through that area then, so we're definitely not gonna do that. Let's see, there should be a... Yeah, purse. I, I didn't find that the first time through this room. It took a long time before I noticed it. 3871. That's all in this room, right? There's a gas mine that's uh, armed, so you can lockpick it and disarm it. There's a noisemaker arrow over there. There's another... Is that a gas mine or a regular mine? I think it's a gas mine. There's a watcher over here. We're going to have to dodge that. You can't see us here, so... We're going to have to go back down and get that bottle of wine. Thirty-nine twenty-one. <laughs> another cleaner bot. We don't have to worry about that. Walking carefully here because there is um, another cyborg. This is the High Council room down here. And it can hear us from down there. Here's a readable. What is a builder's house? For the builder's coming, Karis the Wise hath secre secretly... Secretly. <laughs> uh, prepared the path to build his paradise. A world with neither sin nor forest. These places are essential to success. So Karis the Brave hath searched for the best elements and commanders and asked them to prepare a life cut off from the outside world, with nothing but research and construction to transform the emptiness and rust into a world made from gold and metal. Soul Forge was the place to reset the world to nothing. His houses are the places of the future. There are six of them hidden around the world, and each has their purpose for the builder city. The forge to build the machines of construction the mine to extract the best resources and co convert as much as much dust as possible into refined iron. It says must, as it should be mu much. The archives to gather all the knowledge from the precursor civilization. The armory to defend the builder's paradise from unwanted heretics or dangerous arrows. The cradle to build the people of the builder's paradise and populate the world. And the brain, which is the builder's paradise in which Karis will live where all the decisions and blueprints will be taken, tested and approved before being sent to the other houses. Okay. Here are some weird masks. But those will not 
piece of loot here. somebody down below okay this is where the uh, museum key is found there was a father that had said I think that's somebody from the floor below I don't think anybody comes up here at all except for that bot so the museum museum special item key we're gonna need to get and we're gonna have to return it of course okay in here is a crystal shard 4,046. And there is a purified water crystal. So that is the water. We now have the water and the fire. I think only those two. And here is another... Oh, I wasn't supposed to take that. water tank and two no one water arrow okay this is the library and there's an elevator that we need to use to get down there so notice that that was now on the second level so we have to make sure we reset it on the second level. We're going to do that when we end the mission. And we're going to head down to the bottom level now. That cyborg can come down here. wasn't here now. Okay, here's the brother that was in the library. And he has a book. We need to find a way to stop the production of the machines. This book shall contain uh, every reference from documents that could help us. These machines can't be destroyed directly. The numerous maintenance automata will quickly repair them. We must use the security system against itself, which shall slow it down to a point it shall stop working. Events we call slowing down factors. Two of them shall be enough. Power shortage. Having too many devices running will slow down the factory. Since the power guzzler machines are all working, having smaller things working shall work such as lights. Incorrect ore. The extraction room is directly feeding the system via grinders. Inserting something solid, such as a metal object, shall be enough to slow down the supply of raw material, and thus the factory. That's why we took the explosive charge. We're going to drop that into the grinders. Uh, to fulfill one of these requirements. Overheating, the entire compound is pumping water from the old city's water network to cool down the machines and generator. Turning off five valves in the basement section below shall be enough to make the system slow down to prevent critical damage. That we've already done. So we only need to do the explosive charge um, part in order to stop the production. And that finishes shut down the assembling factory. That's the production that's referred to. Now, I'm going to reload because I don't want to actually pick up this readable. He's on the level above, I think. Okay. going to show you guys another secret. Up here, we're not going to actually take anything here. There's a frog beast egg, a moss arrow, water arrow, gas arrow, flash bomb, mine, scouting orb, and fire arrow here. So we can't get the count for that, because you have to actually take those items to, to get it. So yeah, this is the council room. 
nothing really to pick up in here. But let me show you. This is the main entrance. There's a watcher here, and that hardly pivots at all. For Supreme, you're not allowed to turn off any watchers. So you cannot pass through this hallway, and you cannot leave and enter this room without getting caught by that watcher. That's why we had to take the elevator to get into this room. Here's two flash bombs, a fire arrow, but more importantly, a cold room key. So that we need to fulfill the optional objective. So that's why we have to go through that elevator and get in here that way. Cyborg is on the second level here, where we haven't been yet. So I hope it's not stuck there. It was walking around, so I don't see why it would. Oh yeah, okay, good. Now it's on this lower floor. Perfect. Alright. In here there's an apple and a readable. Council decision from the ID2M15Y. The underground shall be locked down for the next few days to prevent any flood from the quicksand that might gather in the sewers. The doors to the roof shall all be bolted and sealed to prevent any chance of gas penetration. The reaction shall cease 15 days after the release of the gas around the city. Any trespasser shall be eliminated and his corpse ground up so as to waste less gas. <laughs> the repairing and cleaning bot shall remain operational. No one shall disturb Karis, except in case of emergency or under his own instruction. Okay, one more book. Sound plates register. 20 gauges lessons by friend Clark. What is the mechanist order by friend Celtus? Mechanist, the southern me uh, mechanist by friend Dew. When to trust your creativity by friend Nalem. Taller than ice by friend uh, Saikix. Jumping excessive reflection typing and pipes by friend Squir Squario. Machinery cleaning by Dr. Kaibuk. Marble work by friend Manus. Path of the sound in a bog by friend Durkin. This takes us to another study room with nothing of interest. This is where you have the main entrance then to the council room. You cannot sneak past here. We tried that many times. Okay, so we will then not need to go to this level. To the third level again. So yeah, we're going to leave this on the top level for now, because we have to head back and return the cold room key this way. But we are going to have to, like I said, reset that to the second level. done in the break room. So if you do it like this, there's no, no enemies that are being released. It's just using the mission's elements to our benefit here. Okay, good. Now 
front door. We're going to head into here. This is the other way into the council room, but of course we can't come from this area either. We can take some coins here and an artifact, total 4,091. And then this is the bathroom. Much more like a throne than a toilet. There is um, a green vase, and there's also more corrosive water in here. 4,041. Eventually there's um, an Iron Beast that's going to spawn over here, but I think that's after like two hours of gameplay or something like that. I'm going to make a real save here, so it's very, very good. So now we are going to... We've got quite a few keys now, but... down here and explore a few things. Back here is another corrosive water. If you want those. Down here is a worker bot. You might have heard that one, or a cyborg rather. We gotta be a little bit aware of those of that patrol up on the walkways. This is where a lot of the production facilities going on. <laughs> a lot of cool machinery here, but very little of this can be operated, which was very confusing for me. It seems like a lot of this can be used for things, but you, you can't can't. <sighs> so you can find a secret if you drop here. There's three more canisters of corrosive water. And here's three water arrows. Don't want to accidentally get spotted by her. <sighs> she follows that light spider bot. So yeah, there's nothing else of interest there. We're going to head over this way. <laughs> Mantle up here is a gas arrow here. And two fire arrows at the end. So we got this... We got the account for that secret down there. These are all the acid pools that were talked about in the readable. Drop down here, there's a piece of loot. Wait, that was an alert, was it? completely dark over here, so I don't know. Yeah. Probably just idle sound. What are they reacting to? Mm -hmm. 
can't hear what she's saying or the but I mean they're not alerting to me I'm standing up here completely dark so I'm not sure what that is maybe they're seeing something that they are naturally alerting to okay well that's definitely not me okay we can't have that clang because that they can hear Here we have a fruit, a cucumber, a mine, and a blue gem. Okay. Here's a watcher, and there's the the cyborg that we saw from above earlier. I guess I can show you this area down here. Can't do anything down here. This will take us out to the main foyer. I think the cyborg saw us. of interest down here. We're going to head back up. I mean, I was thinking that maybe those there saw me when I was walking along here, but <laughs> they wouldn't have taken that long to settle down, so... But they didn't see me. I stood completely still. Maybe they're seeing the body over there or something. I'm not sure what they're alert reacting to. See? That sounded like it was a clicking alert, but they're far outside of my view, so... Factory assembling section. Okay, so now we're going to head into the extraction section. So that is this door down here, so we're now um, been in this area. So in the extraction section, there's going to be several things that are important for us to pick up. Let's see. Yeah. We're going to need the factory key here. There's a patroller up there. This is a door that takes you down, and it's pickable. We're not going to ever need to do that. It's the patrol upstairs that you're hearing. So now, we're going to head into Karis's quarters. These are the doors that we opened then that we could never have gone into if we hadn't done that already. I'm going to take this vase. Let me just show you something. You can go up and visit Karis now before he's destroyed. But that is not a 
smart thing to do. And now we are here, face to face, as we were that eve at Soulforge. Look at thyself, slim, weak, and tired, for I am fit, strong, and bright. This door shall never be forced. Besides, this room is secured by a whole army of children to block thy way if thou wouldst manage to pass by an unpromising opportunity. I could get rid of thee with my own mace, but I am not the one to judge. There are others who fit more the task. Now those um, big angels came to life and uh, they attacked us. So there's no way you can go in here now and do anything uh, remotely constructive. This is Karis's area. We do not want to walk through these doors because then we trigger something we're not supposed to yet. Here is the valve that was talked about. And that will divert the attention Build again! How dare thee! I think honestly I have underestimated thee too much. But now it's over. This time thou shalt not escape. I have to wait for that spider bot to come by. I believe it works just like a normal spider bot, just with a light on it. Almost like a lantern guard. So this is another extraction section has a lot of moving parts to it. Beautiful if you want. I don't think I got an alert from that worker down there, but I don't want to make any take any chances. do here is actually <laughs> go up this ladder to get into the manager's office. Here's a locked door, and there's the 
Extraction sector manager's key. That unlocks this door, but we don't need to go into that door. And up here. Again. Grab that. And now we need to get all the way down to the bottom floor. And the best way to do that, I found, is to make a leap here. Such. There's nobody down here that can see that. So we need to head this way. There's one more cyborg in this area, but he's on that side. So we have now the key that unlocks this footlocker. We're not going to do that right now. We're going to read this. The new memory crystal hath arrived as thou wanted. If the two other others currently in place are damaged or a weakened, thou shalt replace them with this one. Do not forget to send it to our friends one week before replacing the old one, so they could provide the necessary information inside to prevent several accidents. As for the key, asketh thou the main controller who shall be in the command post. Thou knowest the protocol. That we already have that key. Okay, we're gonna head over here. Here is another key we need. Rare ores storage room key. I believe that is the last key we need. We walk too close to this one. Then it will disintegrate into rust gas. So that I'm not gonna do, but I wanted to show that to you. There's a couple of corpses like that. I'm gonna read this. Strange minerals extracted from the extraction section. Bits of gold shaped like bolts. Precursor era remains. Bleeding rocks, geodes containing some cold melted iron. New ore, solid glass. Sand heated underground by lava and mixed with several ores. Shall be useful for stronger windows. Vibrating stone, note, if another vibrating rock is extracted, send it to the grinder to make the haul to the laboratory easier. Okay, so if we find vibrating rock, we can put it in the grinder to create a vibrating stone. Interesting. So now we are going to use the key to get the blank memory crystal. That will release two of those angels patrolling around here. Stop it now, thief! Worse than destruction, it... Oh, I want to listen to that. Then I can do it again. Because when you lock it, it stops that monologue for some reason. Stop it now, thief! Worse than destruction, it's embezzlement! The builder will never come! If thou art the only survivor, thy single endeavor was a stupid and worthless deacon, while Karis made an entire empire in his name. He will smite thee, and all those deaths would have been done for nothing. For the builder's sake, Garrett, forget about thy foolish vengeance. And leave before madness takes thee. So there, the two of those have been released now. So I don't want to listen to that because I want to leave before it's done. Stop it now, thief! Worst. crystal to actually destroy Karis's plants. We have to wait.
wait for this servant or mechanist to come back. So we have reset Keros' valve. We've now gotten a blank memory crystal. We're now going to have to go up to the control room to switch the crystals and flip the levers that will basically kill all of Keros' creations and um, turn them against him. They give first alerts, really, but... There. This floor, you can actually flip this from the outside. This is the control room. That's not an exploit, because it's a easily put your hands through it. I'm not sure if that was the purpose. This is the control room then. Okay, so now we can mess with Karis big time. So we don't want to go in here. There's a spider bot right on the other side. was not yours, nor useful to thy cause. And now thou hast sacked half of this holy place. If thy goal is a wealthy demise, may it be. So now we have to go into the control room. Here. There's a book here that I think we can read, yeah. Instruction for the memory device. Ensure everyone is aware of thy action, care is included, and execute the security protocol N12A7. Remove the memory crystal from the core at the entrance of the control room and replace it with a new one. Lower the left lever on the east side of the control room to disable the memory of the builder's children. In this phase, they will be neutral to all human beings. Lower the right lever on the east side of the control room to reboot all the builder's children with the new information from the crystal. Warning, a blank crystal shall set them aggressive to any human being in sight. So that's these two levers here. Now I want to be in view so I can see. <gasps> Don't want to do that. Over there is Karis. 
I want us to see Karis when we do this. Let's make it real safe. I, I just can't believe it, Garrett. Why? Just why? You doomed us all. Did he thou think for a single second about the consequences of thy doing? About what thou would do next? No! Step back, idiots! I am careless! I am your fear! No! So he runs away. new objectives so see now we have checked off follow the steps of arena's plan to ensure that Karis is defeated and how we can stop Karis at the same time but then we have gotten another one head to Karis's quarters to make sure he has been defeated so I basically did this on the first playthrough by accident or I read the instructions and I did what I needed to, but I had no idea about that ledger. Let's see, we're gonna head around again now. So now the two angels down below have died. At least they should have. I'm not gonna reset the levers in there because that was the objective to do. I'm not going to say something again. That's probably just a little chatter that I heard earlier. Oh, yeah. This one believes an intruder has come. That's because when the... When we stop Karis, there are several of his bots that are going to that are dying. Those angels die, and then they see those dead angels. There's nothing we can do about that. That's not a bust because it's an automatic. Because there's an auto it's an automatic consequence of a mandatory objective. evidence of an intruder that will happen automatically this one has seen evidence of an intruder It's nobody that heard me or saw me. So that's totally fine. But of course, we can't get spotted here. Let me actually see. Oh, yeah. Because it died in the middle of the staircase. Let's try... ...and wait a little bit. If the patroller dies in a different location, can we, can we manipulate that in any way? I'm not sure if we can. I, I 
just can't believe it, Garrett. Why? Just why? You told us all. Didst thou think for a single second about the consequences of thy doing? About what thou would do next? No! Step back, idiot! I am Cass! I am your fear! No! Oh yeah. Now it died up here. Yeah, that's a lot better. Because... Even if the mechanist goes through this door, which it might do, it's going to be dark there. It's not going to see it. Okay, well that eliminated that. to the manager's office again now, here, and then return that key. I think we are safe here. I need to do first. This is a rare, rare ore storage, authorized friends only. And here is a, the vibrating boulder that was talked about. Well, it didn't alert to passing that, that dead angel there, so... <clears throat>
they hear me? I don't think so. It's way too far down. for that. Make sure the those two are patrolling because then I can hear the alert. If there's an alert when we drop the key, then I want to make sure I can hear it. outside of this room or something, which is okay. <gasps> Great! <sighs> I'm gonna make the same jump here. doing now is returning the rare ore storage room key. Right? That was the only one we got here. Now we shut down the assembling factory and we also got the um, stone. We don't have the night, the storm, the birth and vine yet, right? 
Yeah, I think we're missing those. See, now we are going to... this way. So now we are headed sort of west from the extraction section because we're going to go back to the engineer's quarters, now return the control room key, and then we can also go back to the museum and get the special item there. Here there's a gear, 4356. There's also a flare, and there's a healing potion on these desks. We're going to have to go into that vent shaft. But here, there's a watcher that can't see us, but there's also a mechanist. Let's see. Please turn. Really? Save on a rope is never smart. Okay. This takes us to the nave again. On a ledge, on the southern edge of the nave. Up here we have a broadhead arrow, we have a purse, 4456, and a cheese.
I do need to close that, so... If you're not going to let me, I'm going to have to reload. I never had an issue with this before. Okay. This is the back way into the engineer's quarters. Factory key will get us there. So now... gone this way before, in the secret area, and here's a flare and a water arrow. he didn't do last time. this told you 
guys there was an extra way behind here. I think he triggers in this room or something. Like that. Now we can go down to the workers' quarters. Which is here. Dining room. This body will also disintegrate if you go close to it. What on earth? You guys see what I'm seeing? far away to hear anything that we do. We head into the kitchen. And in here, goblet and a plate in the sink. And we have a couple of loaves of bread and some deer legs. You can actually operate the stove. The furnace, kind of cool. This is the cold room then. in here. Now what's a little bit cool in here is that we get like a mirror that tells us that we can only be in here for a certain amount of time. The only thing in here that's interesting for us is this. It's the birth element, Egg of Chaos. There's two moss arrows and a vine arrow. And up here is a gold vase. Total 46, 21. I believe there's also a healing potion in here, yes. I wonder if that bot there is supposed to stop at a certain point or a certain time, I'm not sure. And just happened to be close to that wall when that happened? Yeah, I can't tell you. I think it's a malfunction right now. Because the last time he was in here, last two times he was in here. So this is the quarters. Um, 
This one we haven't read. Friends, thou shall help me. I've lost my locker key and it contains some small frog eggs. I've gathered for the break, and I fear those may hatch if they stay too long inside. Before losing it, I was working in the barracks target practice room, working to repair the moving target dispenser. I searched there, but found nothing. Couldst thou help me to inspect the place in the week? Friend Cairns. That's the lost key that I showed you in the shooting range, basically. <clears throat> and that you can use to unlock this, and you'll get um, three frog beast eggs. This one is empty. Here's another readable. Emergency message. Friends, we don't have much time. Karis has given orders for everyone here to be killed and is directing the security devices against us. We have little control over them. Join us quickly in the security room on the top floor of the factory's north section. Don't trust Colonel and his men. Beware, friend Arena. <coughs> um. Now we do need to lockpick this. I can't remember. No, this is a storage room. Just a few bits and bobs. Uh, food supplies: 50 pounds of meat, 120 pounds of bread, 80 pounds of fruit, 100 pounds of flour, 50 of salt, 75 sugar. 75 tea, 95 coffee, 105 cheese, 55 salad, 60 kegs of wine, 72 kegs of beer, 150 kegs of fresh water, 50 kegs of vinegar. Colonel, I have joined Arena's forces and taken all the food from the cold chamber with me and those who followed me. We have seen what thou hast done alongside Karis to the ones who hath devoted their lives to our safety. May the Builder have mercy on thee and thy minions. Let's see if Karis and the Builder shall give thee the food to survive without us. See thee at the council room if thou thinkest thyself smart enough. Alrighty, here's a speed potion and a flare as well. Don't think there's anything else of interest in here. So we're gonna head in here next. Before. I think in one of these there's a gold candlestick, yes, and then in the other one should be a flare, so we don't need that. Here's a readable in the bathroom. The extraction machines are perfectly efficient and can get rare ores from very deep rocks, but the last thing we found was more than interesting, some glowing egg. Friend Clark thought it was a burrock egg, but the shell was incredibly thick and solid, and as it emits a really high heat. I wanted to bring it to Friend Colonel's laboratory, so we could give it a closer look, as I bet it's emitting some powerful energy, but this idiot immediately rejected it, saying that organic objects are products of the trickster, and shall be crushed or ate. And now it's placed into the cold chamber. If I could get the key from Friend Nika while he's taking supplies, you can bet I'm going to give it a closer look myself. Interesting. And in here is a moss arrow. That's it. Here, there's nothing readable. Just an incredibly creepy picture. Okay, then we can leave. Okay, so I think that since we're before two hours, we can actually return this way. I believe so. There is a cyborg now that spawns. Maybe that's by a certain event and not time. I thought it was time. So we can't go that way then. 
it turns, but there's no way you can sneak through that. So we have to go back through the engineer's quarters. That's what I had to do in my practice run too, but I took longer, I took over two hours. So I was thinking maybe that was the reason, but I guess it wasn't. Room key, museum special key. We will return to the break room area, or the library area, as will be the factory key. So then we have to actually go back up here then. Guess I didn't need to close that after all. be one other bot too that have spawned that I'll show you. I'm not sure if there's more. Maybe. Let's see, this can be a little bit tricky what I'm going to do here. Let's see. There. First we have to close this. that, essentially. I have to... I have to grab the vine on the way. We can actually go up and visit Keros. And see his final downfall. Let's see. You just have to save and reload and that sort of freeze them. It resets their patrol path, I think. Right. Now let's go.
is... is that... the? Thou... thou bites like a... a bow of brass. Pretty. <coughs> I would have liked to save them, but nature has always taken them away from me. Why are we so weak? I do not congratulate thee for interrupting his factory. The time lost because of this simple move is equal to all of the worst blasphemies thou couldest ever imagine. But Cadiz has fortunately more than enough traps to play against thee. I shall wait for thy death, then everything will be back to normal. Okay. So... Head to Kara's quarters and make sure he has been defeated. So, I... thought this kind of was Karis, but... Am I missing something? That he keeps talking, so I guess then he escaped to somewhere else. There were several utopias, I think. So, anyway. Not sure I understand that fully. So in here is just the dining area cheese and some loaves and a healing potion if you need that. These are angels that would have been come alive if we had walked in here first. Now they have not. And this is sort of Karis's floor. And this is a giant, giant elevator that would have come up, but now all these angels here would have come alive and walked into the factory, prevented us from leaving, but now they're all dead. We're going to actually call the elevator up, because we're going to use that to go back down. So the only reason why we needed to get up here was to get these two pieces of loot, essentially. 47, 71, and that is actually all the loot in the mission. This says emergency exit. We're going to flip that. Because that opens this door over here. And that's the intended way to get into that emergency exit. And now we can close those two on the south side. And now we're going to go back and we're going to close this door again. So if we hadn't moved that little bot down there, or caused it to actually go where we're supposed to go, then we wouldn't have been able to leave right now. done.
Here are turrets, but they will not be active until you are spotted. We're going to be a little bit careful here because there's bots and people walking around. So. So I'll sneak through this room. So normally these are blind and only activate their periscopes when they hear you, but this one is um, can see permanently from the beginning. So that's why I couldn't sneak through this room the first time I played. So now there's the bot, so we cannot jump up there like we did before. So that we now need to go back through the extraction section up to the second floor walkway. That really sucks because now we're going to have to follow them. You know what, I don't know if they are, so...
I just don't want to get spotted from the distance from that. Let me go ahead and check if your things make a real sound first. Yeah, so we are returning. The keys to this area right now. back up and on our way back we can return the museum. Oh. No. You're just going straight back here? This is a ladder up, but you can't actually mantle up on that bookshelf from this side. All right. So we want to make sure that we leave this one on the second floor. Now you. On the top floor, you cannot click the second floor button and rush out. So you have to find a different way to do that. So 
the way I do this is you have to actually... Oops. Okay, what is going on here? stuck if you are sort of leaning out on the other side. <laughs> there, there we go. You can do now is you can actually lean out and then mantle up here. That's how you can get up on this bookshelf and there's two water arrows there. You can actually do a similar thing and get all the way into this window. you get up to the top floor and leave it on the second floor. This is the museum key that we need to leave here. Okay, we don't have much left. If we read Arena's ledger this time, we get another message from Karis that we haven't heard before. I'm going to return the factory key though first. There. No, that is probably only. I think we're supposed to have killed Karis, aren't we? Anyway, we have everything checked off except for the couple last items we're gonna get. This way is easier because now you're moving in under the camera. You can't see you directly underneath. Okay, what is in this? Yeah, there is a healing potion, that's what I thought. I want to make sure that I actually did... Yeah, I locked the doors over here, good. Okay, then we can finally head into this room. generator room and this we have to pick open and there's another lock we have to pick inside in here you get another type of like breath counter but it's heat it's a heat counter can do this in one go I believe because it goes down very slowly
There isn't much in it, but we got it. Okay. Now what's also in this room is a fire arrow over here. At the other end is a gas arrow. Don't think there's anything else in there. Okay, so that was... Wasn't that the... Was that the fire one? The storm one. That's right. Okay, let's continue here. And we're on the other side of the... factory, right, with uh, robots that we saw earlier in the mission. We're in the fixing room now. I'm going to call up the elevator. So this is the fixing room. Here we have a weird spider bot with some stuff growing out of it. A moss arrow, a moss arrow, and is that a vine arrow? I think so. Odd. And this is the entrance to the warehouse. Here's a flare, and here's a book. It's the first time I'm dealing with such a situation. Karis returned from Soulforge, and his machines brought me several robots to fix. Apparently a thief and a witch were there. Made a mess, and one left a few hours after the other died. Most of the machines just needed to have their boiler purged and refilled, or sent directly to the smeltery. One of them seems to be more special than the others, a cleaner bot. Normally these are the easiest creatures to repair. But this one is giving me a tough time, and I can't just throw it into an incinerator without understanding what's wrong with it. It's like the machine is filled with moss and vines which never cease to grow. I'll be late to the ceremony, but I think it's worth searching in the warehouse for some poison. I don't want it to burst when I try this place. Or this place is so wet. When I try, this is truncated here. This place is so wet. Enough water might gather to spread its seeds, and I don't want to know what kind of pagan things might spawn from it. So what we basically have to do here is use a water arrow on it, I believe. Yep. And then out falls a nymph seed, which is the last element. So that's vine. So that checks off the optional objective. And then we can actually leave through this area. I don't want to make too much noise because they're right above me. So that opens the door to the crane room. close it like that. Yeah, let me do that. Let me just check something here. If we then can go back and reset that <laughs> elevator lever. This one was open already, wasn't it? This one was open, I think so. I can't remember opening it at least. This one got reset because it was at the top level. Okay, good. Okay, that's it. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
perfect. So, unless I made any mistakes, that was a successful perfect Supreme Ghost of the Builder's Paradise. Which is uh, something I'm quite happy about, because it is a very, very difficult mission. Um, total time, 2 hours, 12 minutes, 36 seconds. We found 4771 loot out of 4771. Pockets picked none, and locks picked five. That's the minimum I think I can get it down to. Everything else is zero. Bodies discovered by enemies is one. So that is probably one of the two angels that died in the extraction section that was spotted. Uh, but that is not up to me. That's just a natural consequence of a of a mandatory objective. Um, secrets found seven out of nine. The last two I didn't want to do because I had to pick up something to do it. There we are. Perfect. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, and what you think about my run, of course. But, yeah, I, I, I do like the mission a lot now. Uh, but I was very frustrated on the first playthrough. Um, a little bit unfortunate that that happened, but anyway. So next time, next mission will be Green Bay by Dr. K. And I'm also doing a Better Tomorrow by Dr. K. That's the reason I'm doing Green Bay first, because they're based on each other. So yeah, uh, until then time, or until that time, um, thank you guys for watching, and have a good night. Bye-bye.